Ja, de Robert. De Robert. I'm one of the lucky ones. It doesn't work out that well for everybody. I saw that videotape of that lady that got beat up in L.A. in the traffic. You see that shit on rush hour traffic? They beat a black woman's ass. This woman didn't even do anything wrong. It's fucked up. It was so fucked up, it didn't even go to court. The city of L.A. just gave that woman $1.5 million for her pain and suffering. That is not bad, considering that's the same amount of money that Marcos Madonna made to fight Floyd Mayweather the second time. And this woman obviously hasn't trained a day in her life. You can see it on the tape. She didn't come to fight. Her guards were low. She was taking a lot of shots. Everybody's mad at police now. I watch that. You see that shit on Netflix? The, uh, the making of making a murderer. The Stephen Avery story? Yeah, well, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Stephen Avery is in more trouble than any white person in the history of the United States has ever been in. And a justice system designed for him to thrive, he's failed miserably twice. I, I can't even wrap my mind around it. If making a murder was about a black dude, that shit would be called, duh. <laughs> of course everything can go wrong. Seems like he did it all right. Yeah, the motherfucker even had $200,000 for his legal defense. That should get you off in Wisconsin. That's like OJ money. <laughs> all he needed to get off that he didn't have was a single black jury. That's all it would have took. Because only a black dude in the United States can look at 11 other dudes and be like, I think the police did this shit. <laughs> he's, fucked, he's fucked up in the game. That's how OJ got off. I've been watching that new OJ show. I can't get enough of that shit. Doesn't it bring back good memories? <laughs> but I forgot how, I forgot how, like, just how polarizing that OJ case was. And you know, I've met OJ Simpson on four different occasions in my life. And before the end of the show, I will tell you about each of those occasions. <laughs> the first time I met OJ Simpson, I was in Santa Monica. Yeah, I can't believe a black dude was like, Santa Monica. <laughs> These the last niggas I expect to say that. Let's see your shoes. You got some vans on, nigga, what you got? <laughs> Santa Monica! <laughs> you? At the time I was 18, I had done a show and then a guy from the club came up and was like, hey, O.J. Simpson's here, and he said he wants to meet you. I said, what? Fuck yeah. I ran down the steps, <laughs> and O.J. was down there, he was like, hey, yo, man, how are you? It was very good to meet you, and uh, you're doing really good work, and I hope good things happen for you in your life. I was like, man, thanks, Mr. Juice. <laughs> Standing beside him, well, I don't know the nice way to say this, uh, his soon-to-be slain wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up or you're not gonna make it through the end of this show. <laughs> Just man the fuck up. She's dead, you already know, we know what happened. We don't know who did it, but we know what happened. <laughs> I should tell you that woman was very nice to me. She actually embraced me. She said, I think you're adorable. And she hugged me. She goes, good luck to you. And she held me for a long time. And I whispered in her ear, bitch, are you trying to get us both killed? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. But that was the first time in a nutshell. 